shopping with Corporal's Corner. All right, today we're doing something different. I promise you guys three videos a week. That didn't happen because I just got my new camera. So we're gonna test this thing out and we're gonna do something completely abstract and off the wall. I wanna say about six years ago, maybe even seven now, I melted aluminum out in the woods in a old um, coffee can, just to see if it was possible. Aluminum melts around, well, aluminum cans melt around 1250 degrees Fahrenheit. So. A campfire can easily get that. Those that follow my videos over the years, we actually melted copper at 1900 degrees. So we can do it, it's very doable. Um, the back half of my property, there's an old pit. And in the mid nineties, lived here, thought it would be cool to dump their trash. So I wanna go through that garbage and look for aluminum cans and something to melt those aluminum cans in. And then we'll see if this is actually possible to cast a knife or a makeshift knife so the top of this hill here off to the left, and you can already see garbage right there. And there we go, look at that mess. Old TVs, tires, all kinds of crap down inside here. We got aluminum cans right here. Look at that. This is like an actual gold mine right here. Can't believe there's just cans everywhere. Now somebody's gonna say it, you know, we're gonna find cans like that in the woods. Well, I guarantee you can walk any trail in the USA, walk a road, things like that, and you're gonna find aluminum cans everywhere. Why? Because people are disgusting and they litter. Somebody owned 100 acres and they just decided to destroy it with garbage. So there's a major score right there. We got two pans just sitting there and a third one right over there. Wow. The only problem I see with this is that they're both Teflon coated, which might not mean anything. I don't know at what temperature Teflon actually melts off. I mean, if it's less than 1250, we're in trouble. And if it's more than 1250, then it should be fine. Look at that, old Foreman grill. Wow. Shopping with Corporal's Corner. Let that do its thing. So all we want to do here is to get this wood stacked around here and start getting it dried out. So when it catches, we have a hot fire and a bed of coals going. So one of the harder things to reproduce out in the woods is a knife or cutting tool or stabbing weapon. But aluminum is probably one of the easiest ways to make that happen. Most don't think about that. Again, you walk any trail in the USA, side of the road, freeways, you're gonna find 15 to 20 cans just sitting there Again, why? Because people are nasty and they want to just waste. But one man's trash is another man's treasure. All right, so while we're waiting for that to melt and burn off, a couple things we have to do. I want to find an area where I can cast a knife shape. If I can find clay, that's perfect. Mix a little bit of sand with that, create some type of mold, pour it in there. It will not be close or even resemble something that you would do in a shop or a controlled environment. But you can at least get something that's called an ingot, a rectangle shape, maybe even a knife blade shape. And then we're gonna find a nice rock and we're gonna file it down to resemble a knife. And then maybe wrap the handle with paracord or in this case, I always carry bank line, we can use that. Now, in the meantime, I'm wearing my zip hoodie my logoed Corporal's Corner zip hoodie. We have a still in stock around 100 of these. If you're interested, go ahead and grab them. Another month, we're gonna pull them out of the store and we're gonna be done with it. Why? Because it's gonna be too warm to wear them. So if you're interested, check it out. The link to my Etsy store is inside my video description box. Click it and get her done. Nice flat but rough surface. We can actually use that to sharpen our blade up. So it's perfect. 
all the exterior coating there is coming off. You can see it turning white, and that's a good thing. So hopefully the inside's doing the same thing. Get that handle burned off. Looks like it's some kind of polymer or plastic or something. I mean, if it's metal on the inside, great, but the exterior is like some kind of plastic. It's starting to bubble up, but we'll let this do its thing and go look for some clay. Now in old little creeks like this, this right here, back in the day, used to be a trail or a little road that ran to a air vent on a mine shaft on my property. Ravines like this, usually in these lower areas, especially under trees, you're gonna find the good clay. So let's poke around here and see what we can find. So here's a tree sticking out of the ground and down this silty pocket down here is probably where the best stuff is. The lower you go, the better. Mud will work, but ultimately clay works the best. Keep in mind that you don't need to be this thorough, but the cleaner you can make your casting, the less work you have to do to make it actually resemble a rectangle or a knife shape or whatever you're going for. So I walked away for about five minutes to wash my hands in the creek. Come back, where's my saucepan? It's gone. And this is all that's left. That, ladies and gentlemen, is aluminum. So that tells me two things. One, these pots and pans you buy at the store are actually aluminum coated Teflon and some type of exterior coating as well. Once that burns off around 500 degrees, you're left with aluminum. Second, it tells me that fire is hot enough to melt aluminum because you can see this thing actually moving around right now. So I'm happy with that. Good experiment, I lost my container, but you know what? I wanted to use a nesting cup anyways. Why? Because most people carry nesting cups. So let me grab a stainless steel nesting cup, and we'll stick it in there, and we'll start adding our cans to it. All right, so we'll try this again. We'll walk over to the creek and I'll use that shovel I found over there in that ravine and we'll grab some sand and we'll come back and we'll temper this clay and we'll hopefully at that point add some more cans and then be in business. All so right next to the creek, here's the sand. Look at that, it's all wet though, but that's the problem with this area. But we'll get some of this on here and that should be good enough. Get these leaves and crap out of here. And again, we're not making clay pots out here. I just want this thing to where it's not sticky. And I can actually press my fingers into it and actually make a mold of what I want to pour into. And we'll make two of them if we can. I overfilled it on purpose because if it's underfilled, you can't add material. And being a former welder and welding inspector, more is better because you can take it away. So we have the shape. Once it cools down, we'll get it to that rock over there and start sanding away on it and get that basic knife shape. Put an edge on it and then wrap that handle.
So for a makeshift knife, I'm actually happy with this. It worked out well. It proved a theory that you could go out and collect aluminum cans. I wanted to find a coffee pot in that mess over there, but it'd probably take me all day of digging through it just to find something. Um, lesson learned, though, I had no idea. And that's kind of scary because you think about it, you know, people always complain about well, aluminum this and aluminum that. You'll get Alzheimer's, even though that's very rare. But those pots were actually aluminum, just coated in Teflon and whatever the coating was on the outside. There's paint, but there was some kind of exterior coating. Once that burned off and that, that hit like, what, 1250? That pot was gone, dude. I mean, completely gone. Um, so yeah, lesson learned on that. I thought they were steel or some kind of alloy or something. But I guess the cheap ones are aluminum. Um, yeah, so lesson learned on that. Um, anyway, um, this is doable, 100%. I may put this on a belt sander down the road and take it down to about an eighth inch and then actually sharpen it up and use this as a template for, like, say, a bronze knife or something uh, in the future or throwing knives, stick them into the wood. Um, yes, aluminum works perfectly fine for throwing knives. And this thing, you're not going to break it. If you're not going to. But, yeah, can you make something from nothing in the woods with a campfire? Yes, you can. Now, I will end with this. You're going to see a couple teasers dropping next week. And you don't want to miss next week's midweek video. We're going to drop it on a Friday because I have some important gear dropping. And it's not my gear. It's from Hardcore Hammers. So don't miss that video. <sighs> Try this again. On that note... Let's end this bad boy off. With that, all the gear in my videos can be found in two places. One, my Amazon affiliate page, and two, my Etsy store. Both links are found inside my description box. Now, please do me that favor. Hit that like and subscribe button, then ring that notification bell. Once you ring that bell, please select all notifications. And as always, thank you for your comments, views, and support. Thanks for watching. Get out in the field, have some fun. I'm going to catch you next time.